Ram, ram. Ram, Ready, ram. Jippy? All set, go ahead. Come on, Sticky, you can eat that later. Okay. Hold tight, Patty, darling. Right, go. to Harry Haggerty. Is he dead? No. Pity. Pity was an old Craven gang. Harry does not look wild. Come on. What's the idea? Yeah, what's the idea, huh? Do you want to look where you're going? Me look? You're asking for a good hiding, you are. Who's going to give me one? Hold it, Harry. Look who's coming. What's up, Harry? Oh, nothing. Uh, just admiring Jimmy's shirt. Nice shirt you got there, Jimmy boy. All right, just take your hands off it, then. Bit old to be messing about with kids' toys, aren't you, Squirrel? The rocket's all right. Yeah, it may be all right for you dams and street lock, but we Craven gang got something better. Come on, Slab. Come on, fellas. What do you reckon you meant by that? Hey, look here! Yes, and you look there. You've been riding that thing down the street, haven't you? Yes. Yeah, well, that's not only stupid, but worse, it's dangerous. And you two ought to know better. Yes, sir. If you want some excitement, go to the carting track. Now, don't let me catch you with that thing in the street again. Okay. Off with you. Come on, then. Gang's got a cart. Oh, I'll leave. I'll do it. Okay. Would you do her stuff, Dad? Of course she will. I want to give the garage a good effort, don't I? What's that? I said sweet music. Yeah. Ah, as you know, we race for the running start. You'll be pushed off from here and go once round the track, keeping in these positions. Come along, number seven. I'm coming. You'll come up to the start, still in your positions. Then, when the national flag goes up, the race is on. Right? Off you go. There he goes, that's Harry Haggerty, number seven. Yes, but he knows his stuff.
day, Dad. I'm going to do Mr. Bundy's garden. Oh, Bundy? He's the secretary of the cricket club, isn't he? That's right. I'm after the contract for the cricket pitch. Oh, good luck, then. Thanks. Brown, Brown! We've got to have one of them. We've got to have one of them. What? One of those with an engine? Of course, it's got to have an engine. Yeah, but what do we do for Mazuma? We've got to have Dosh for engines, Dosh, lolly then. Oh. Come here, Siggy, give me a jacket. Shut up, Patty, we're talking. Can't you put an engine in the rocket? You're damsy. Oh, oh my feet in But if you are such a little squirt, I... Right. I've had a think. How many parents we got? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Twelve! Me and Patty Dolly are brothers. Sisters. Ten parents, then. We'll tell them we're going in for racing. A Curie Damson. What's a Curie mean? It's, it's what people call themselves when they run racing cars. How should I know what it means? Anyway, that's what we'll tell them. And they can join the supporters' club if they buy us a car. Who can? Parents, of course, pluck I know what my mum will say. No, absolutely no. And that is final. Dad? Don't dad me. Go-kart racing in the whatever next I'd like to know. Where's the money to come from, may I ask? Oh, buy you a go-kart and the washing machine not paid for yet? A go-kart, eh? Thanks. They're pretty fast, aren't they? Go like the clappers, Dad. Yes. Yeah, pass me that screwdriver, eh? Here, I'll let the hem of this dress down, Dorothy, will you, dear, if you're not doing anything? All right, Mum. What would it cost? What would what cost? A go-kart, Mum. A go-kart? Yeah, smashing. Well, you can get that idea out of your head for a start. Surprised at you, Bert, encouraging them. That's right, son. Make a good job of it. A lot depends on this. I know. Say, Dad, you ought to use the big marrow on this side. I should, but the engine doesn't go too good. Runs all tired. I bet I can make it go. <laughs> Talking of go, take a look at this. Oh, what's that? Mmm, nice looking job. Go-karting, eh? So that's the latest craze, is it? Smashing car, eh, Dad? Yeah, very nice. Wouldn't mind having a go at that myself. Put it away, son. Here comes on Bunty. Ah, Edley. Doing a good job, I see. Splendid. Well, we do our best, sir. I've been going over your estimate for looking after the cricket ground, and I decided to recommend the committee to give you the job. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You'll need a bigger mower than that, won't you, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Dad. Now, about this car. Not now, sir. More important things to think of. I've got to get that big mower going. Go-kart? Go-kart? What do you want with one of those things? Racing, drifting the corners in a cloud of dust, busting down the straight, running Harry Haggerty into straw bales. But you're a little girl. Forget it. Now, tell you what. If you're good, I'll buy you a doll's pram for your birthday. Hey, give that back. Come and get it. Yes. What do you want it for anyway, young man? Come on, we'll jolly well get one. You wait and see. What, that old soapbox? <laughs> You'll never lick the haggis, you fire. What did your dad say? Nothing doing. Same here. We've got to have a go kart. If we don't get a cart of our own, the Craven Gang and never let us live it down. Look, here comes Squidhead. Any luck? No. We've still got to have one. Trouble with parents is they don't think we're serious. Well, Dad might have had a go, but Mum squashed it. Same here. Squirt's right, though. We've got to make them see we mean it. How? Make one. Make one? What we? Bits and pieces, same as we did the rocket. It's no good. The Craven Gang will just bust themselves with laughing. Doesn't matter. Once our parents see we can do it, they help us get a real one. Couldn't we dash an engine to this? No, nah, hopeless. It would fall to bits. We must have metal. It's the rubbish dump. And old Fred's yard. Well, let's have a go then. Yeah, come on. Oi. Morning, Fred. What do you want? All right, if we just have a nose around. What for? Nothing special. Well, all right. But no begging or borrowing, mind. What you take, she pays for. Thanks. Hey, Jimpy, come here. What are they? 
government surplus. Parachutists use them. They might do us. Hey, this one's still got most of its engine. And the tyres on this one aren't bad. Yeah. No, they're no good. Just junk. No, they're... No, they're no good. Plenty of good spare parts in them. Ten bob each. You're joking. Fifteen bob the pair. Take or leave it. Look, we don't want to keep them. Just borrow them. I've heard that tale before. Tell you what, suppose we bring them back straight right down, all in separate bits. That'd save your job, wouldn't it? And yeah, that's right. You'd get more for the parts if you sold them separately. I don't know. You won't regret it. He always had the fastest runs on the rocket. Come on, let's shove off. It's no good, she won't go. Try him or choke. Is the petrol feed on? Of course it is. Let's try one more go. Come on, turn it around. Never the Damson Street lot. Square it said they'd get one. That's one way of finding out. <laughs> what a lash up. Yeah, but it's enough go.
thought I was in then. All right, give us a hand, will you? Get that heave! Whoa! Got it. Thank goodness. We've got a winner. Oh, you lovely, lovely dancers. Where's Jimmy? Hey, help! Oh, he'll be all right. It isn't me. Did you see it go? Like a bomb. The soup are steering. Easy. Hello, Jimpy. We saved it. Oh, well done. How did you manage to stop it, Jimpy? The cylinder head flew off plus once. The engine's wrecked. It'll never go again. Ah, oh, too bad. Better stick to soap boxes, aren't you? <laughs> Watch it, Jim. Been swimming. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. I'll boil him in oil. I'll put spiders in his socks. I'll, I'll blow his cylinder head off. My dad's got a big engine on one of his mowers. You wouldn't dare. It needs seeing to. I could offer to fix it. And while it's out of your dad's mower, we could try it on the Damson. Mark two. Check. Check this plug for me, will you, son? Okay, Dad. Now that I've got the contract for the cricket pitch, I'll need that big mower. Leave it to me. I can fix it. You sure you can do it? Of course, I'll grind the valves and give it a general going over. You'll see, she'll go like a bomb. All right, but don't wreck it. And see it's back in one piece for Saturday afternoon. Oh, more elbow grease, wood lass. Come on, cheesy, I want to see my face in that tomorrow. I wouldn't, not with a face like you on. Cheeky blighter. Here, thumping basher. Here, hang on. Look over there. Here, this is the old Damson Street lot. What what square it's carrying. Looks heavy. Yeah, it could be another engine. For their cart? But that lash up? Still, we better go and see. Hey! Who told you to knock off? I want to see that shiny when I get back. That's it. be great. Can't wait to see her again. There it is. It's the old car with a new engine. Come on, Jimmy. 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 Come on, Go. She's a world beater. <sighs> That's nothing. So, you got a new engine, eh? Just a little something I picked up. Of course, it's not properly tuned yet. You're not much of a driver, have you? Jimpy, this is first time. He'll do. No, I wouldn't stand much chance against me. I wouldn't be too sure. What, just a daft kid eat with old scrap iron? Listen, our cart's faster than yours, and Jimpy's a better driver than you are. Bet you don't race us, Saturday. I bet you we do. And beat you. She makes this good. Smashing. Don't worry, Squarehead, we'll lick them. I know, it's not that. The engine's supposed to be back in Dad's mower by tomorrow. Well, you'll just have to talk to him. Make him see how important it is. I'll try. Him. Not yet. There is much time. I know, I know. Go on, ask him now. All right, just leave me alone. Dad. Oh, there you are, son. Let's see what sort of a job you've made of this mower. Dad, about the engine. You haven't busted, I hope. No, I haven't busted. Well, soon see. Fine, it started first time. It's the first time it's ever done that. Good work, son. 
I wouldn't give it too much throttle if I were you, Dad. Nonsense. Always have to do that. Stalls otherwise. Right. Let in the clutch and away we go. <laughs> Sir, would I be right in presuming this might be your vehicle? Yes, officer, it is. Right. Okay, sir. I regret to inform you that I shall have to book you for being in charge of an unlicensed vehicle on the public highway, driving without due care and attention, dangerous driving, and no hand signals. Shut up. Shut up. But I wasn't in charge of it, officer. And I certainly wasn't driving. Couldn't have been driving. There weren't nobody driving, were there? No. Got a point there, hasn't he? Got a point. You've got yeah. a point there. Yeah, nobody driving. Well, in that case, sir, perhaps you could sort of explain it, sir. Well, you see... It, it was my fault, officer. You see, the old ma wasn't going too well, so I just tuned her up a bit. Tuned it up, did you? Uh, in that case, sir, I can only say you're a very lucky man. Very lucky man. Me? Lucky? Having a son that can put that much extra power into a lawnmower? Well, he's bound to go far. Or even farther. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I suppose he is quite a bright boy. Yeah. I reckon he gets it off his mother, sir. <laughs> <laughs> right, sir, I won't be taking any further this time, sir. Thanks. Just one little thing, sir. I do recommend you have some disc brakes, <laughs> pity, sir. Disc brakes. <laughs> Just a minute, you. I recognise you. 
Aren't you that postman that forgot to deliver my coupon the week the 12 draws come up? Bit of luck the copper took that attitude. This time. Mm. You wouldn't just have a go-kart chassis you could fix that engine to, I suppose. Well, as a matter of fact... There's we... a meeting this afternoon, isn't there? You bet, Dad. Well, what are we waiting for? Get a spanner! engine all right we've had it then what do you mean had it we well, saw that engine of theirs go this morning that's couldn't touch it so they got a good engine what about the car same one as we saw on the waist but old junkie no oh, one good clunk and it's finished the next event is the first junior race competitors in the starting pit please where did you find that car on the rubbish dump she'll leave you standing mate just hope your life insurance is paid up I saw that engine of theirs tear through town this morning. Don't you worry. Harry knows what he's doing. They're coming up to the stop. Jimpy's pulling ahead. I told you that Davis is too fast for us. I'll leave it to Harry. He's got 20 times the experience. He'll clobber it. Seems a pity with an engine like this. Yeah, the engine's great, but what's the use of an engine on its own? Come on, Squarehead. We can't let them beat us now. We just have to strengthen it and have another go. Yeah. I think it's tough on the kids. Can't we do something? That's a good idea. Let's do something about it. Whip Is this way for it, Gary Damson? Yeah, that's us. Delivery for you. All right, now, just stand back now. Wait a minute, son. Let me get up there first. Come on. Down there, that's it. All right, you just help me when I push it down here, eh? All right, here we are. You know what it is? 
A super kite go kite kit. Somebody's gonna have some fun, eh? Cool. Oh, Are you sure it's for us? Yes, it's for you lot. We all club together. Thanks a lot, Mum. It's great. Well, you better get cracking if you're gonna get it ready by Saturday. Thank you, Mr. Tedley. Got what? A chassis, a real chassis. A chassis? Where from? Their parents, they come together. Great! Now we'll show those cravens. They got a proper chassis. For the damsel lot? Yeah, I've just seen it arrive. Well, with that engine and a good chassis, this is real competition. Well, the first one they had nearly ended in the canal, didn't it? So? So use your loaf. A good dip wouldn't do this one any good, would it? So we give it a good dowsing. How? Well, first we've got to find out where they're building it. Then grab it. Then splosh. Yeah. <laughs> now, Basha, you take slab, nip down Damson Street, OK? Have a little scout round, report back to me, OK? Off you go. I'll split their gizzards. They said they'd chuck it in the canal. I nearly clobbered them on the spot. But if they so much as lay a finger on the Damson Mark III, I'll split them from head to tail. I'll... Don't talk like that, Squirt. It isn't nice. All right, I'll stop talking, but I won't stop thinking. Look, why don't we go over to Haggerty's and smash up the flyer? No, I've got a better idea. We'll let them ditch the cart. Have you gone bonkers? But it won't be the real Dan's and Mark III. It'll be a decoy. What's a decoy? A decoy, stupid. It's a sort of dummy put there to fool the enemy. Meanwhile, we're building the real Dan's and Mark III here. While the decoy Damson's at the waist. Check. <laughs> Meet me here this afternoon. Check. Sticky, Spuggy, here a minute. I've got a job for you two. Good, you've come. What are we meeting for? You'll soon see. So I fix the seat on now? Yeah, no need to wait for the others. Anyway. Down at old Fred's scrapyard. Hey, Squirt, don't break that crate. What are they doing? Taking back what's left of the dams and Mark II. And bringing something else in exchange, I hope. Easy does it now. Hey, careful. That'll be them. Good work. Well, old Fred, let's have For nothing. He was so pleased to get those paratroop bikes back, all stripped down. He said we could help ourselves. What's it all for? It's a decoy damson, of course. I get it. You're going to put the junk in the supercar box. That's right. And take it to the hut on the way. For the craving gang to pitch and chuck in the canal. And a fat lot of good it'll do them. Because while they're busy lugging old iron about the waste, we'll be building the real Dan's and Mark III here. Good as new. Shall we take it to the hut now? Yeah, and make sure you're seen. Huh? By the craving gang, you bitch. Come on. <sighs> here they come.
lady out's locked. So? What's locks? Come on. And all who's thinking of. Nearly finished. She's gonna be a smasher, eh, Jimpy? You bet. You wait till Saturday. Row! Listen to this. At Saturday's meeting of the local karting club, a special trophy will be awarded to the team winning the highest number of races in the junior class. The Curie Damson. Yeah. Ray! There's, There's some more, look. There will be three races in this class and fierce comp comp. Competition. Competition is expected. Karting fans expect the trophy to go to the Haggerty Flyer. Jimpy, do you really think you can beat Harry Haggerty? I hope so. Wait a minute, but an outsider worth watching is the Damson Street entry. Thank you, fans. <laughs> Before it crashed at the last meeting, the Damson cart showed a remarkable turn of speed. Yeah, what's the trophy, does it say? The trophy is a solid silver challenge cup and will be kept by the winning team for a year. Where shall we put it? Mm. <laughs> Operation successful. What happened? Did they fall for it? Hook, line and sinker. Just give me the facts, man. Basher and Slag bust into the hut, took the old crate of junk and dumped it in the canal. Bet they're telling old Harry Haggerty how clever they've been right now. <laughs> so, you ditched the crate in the canal, did you? Very clever. No, you didn't have to look inside it, did you? No, it was all nailed up, see? Oh, yeah, I see. Lucky for us, I saw something else. While you two are messing about in the waste, I took a walk down Damson Street. Yeah? Yeah. And I saw like an old man in his workshop. So I took a look through the window. And do you know what I saw? Don't know, Harry. I give up. Jimpy and Square are assembling a new supercar kit, that's what. But that crate we ditched. Oh, just a lot of old rubbish put there to fool you. Now listen, this is what we're going to do. Watch. Let me bash it, Harry. No, it's gonna look just like an accident. Well, now. Move the wheel off. Got the hexel? Yeah. I get cutting. Just there. But no more than halfway through. Remember. They don't want nothing to get wrong till they get on the track tomorrow. There. That's about halfway through. Good. Put the wheel back on. A few times around the track, this cart will fall to pieces. And that'll ruin the damsel's chances of winning the cup, eh? <laughs> it's a smashing cup. Are we really going to win it? Of course we are. Look, the Damson's the only cart as fast as ours. And that won't last long with this axle all thrown through. <laughs> hey, you don't think they could have found out what we did to it? Of course not. Look, there's Jimmy now. Confident as you like. Poor fool doesn't know what's going to happen to him. <laughs> Hello, Harry. Ready for a licking? Just you wait, Jimpy. Just you wait.
Thames that's got the speed all right. Uh, not to worry. That actually won't stand much more of this. <laughs> In the slower carts now. Paris had more experience at this sort of thing. and it's in the bag. Oh! It's a front axle. <laughs> Sabotage. Hello, it's a of trouble. Better hurry up and fix it. You're racing again in a few minutes. We've had it. Not yet, we haven't. I know where there's a spare axle. Where? Oh, Fizz Junkyard. Come on. <laughs> no more racing for them today. And I win the next two and get the cup. Any old iron? <laughs> Spot of trouble, what? Very funny. Rotten luck, Jim, it really is. Rotten luck, my eye. We were nobbled. Hey, Fred. What do you want now? That axle. What axle? The motorbike axle. Oh, that one. Oh, yeah, I know what that is. Meet me back at Dad's workshop. I'll go and get the tools ready. I'll put it over here. Yeah. No, I didn't. I left it over there. Oh, cool. I'm Tommy Cole. Now it's over there. That's it. Round about. Go for Tommy Cole again. It's here, I'll put it. This'll do. You put that down. You can't have that. It's sold. Please, no. Man. Put I'll... it down. Oh, please. Look, leave go. Drop it. Now, don't start picking things up and moving them about. I'll never be able to find anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Now, there's where I'll put it over there. Somebody must have shifted it. What's that? I told you I knew where I left it. <laughs> Not going in for a cup after all, then. Do better in the old crocs race, wouldn't you? <laughs> the damsons are crock, a rotten old crock, a rotten old crock was she. She started the race but failed at the base and completed but one race in three. Ah! Oh. Watch it. Competitors for the second we'll junior race later. to the starting pit, please. This is the second of three races. Good work, go ahead. Nearly done. Winner of the second junior race is Harry Haggerty in the Haggerty Flyer. The third and final of these races will be held in a few minutes. What a trouble! <laughs> hurry, for goodness sake, hurry! What do you think we're trying to do? Competitors for the third and final junior race to the starting pit in two minutes.
I'm afraid we can't wait for the damsel any longer. Squirt, hold him up. We must have more time. Do something, anything. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Yes, little girl, what is it? There's a wasp on your head. Oh, thank you. Gone? No, I think it's crawled down inside your collar. I expect it's sleepy. Dad always says wasps are dangerous when they're sleepy. I didn't see any wasp. Perhaps it's crawled down inside your shirt. Would you like me to look for you? No, thank you. It's probably flown away. No, there's nothing there. God, I'm so glad. Ah, could I have the mic, please? I've got to announce the next race. Mike? Who's he? The microphone. I gave it to you. Did you? I don't think so. Did you put it on the ground? Did I? I could have sworn I... Nearly done it. Give me the wheel. Keep still. Competitors for the third and final junior race to the starting pit now. The race will begin immediately. <sighs> we saw one split pit. No time. She'll have to go. She is. Will you risk it, Jimpy? Yes. Hope for the best. Come on. That cup's as good as ours. I wouldn't be too sure. You fixed it, you dirty, rotten swine.
One more race like that, Haggerty, and you're warned off this course for life. <laughs> <laughs>